Hey guys, welcome back to Kindergarten Ready. Okay, um, today I'm gonna show you how to play the game Roll and Record 3 when you don't have the supplies um, that we have at school, okay? Um, all I'm using are three sheets of paper um, and some markers, okay? You are gonna make a chart. Um, I like to write the title at the top so my kids know. Roll and record three, okay? Now roll and record three, you are actually going to be working with um, two paper dice. The paper dice are gonna have, um, it's gonna have six squares on it, just like a regular dice, but you're not gonna fill all of them out. Okay, so you want one of them to be um, blank, and then you need a one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, you're gonna have two of these. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and make that real quick. Now I do, for those of you who wanna print this out, I do have the, a copy of this that I could email if you request, um, but I don't, know, <laughs> I don't know how to upload it to Facebook to where you guys can see it, okay? So this is all I'm doing for my paper dice. Again, you're doing the same number combinations. You've got zero, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, you got two dice that look exactly the same. Paper dice one, paper dice two. Okay, now you're gonna make your chart, okay? So along the bottom, you're gonna put your lowest number first. The lowest number that you could get is obviously going to be a zero, <laughs> okay? So we're gonna put a zero, and then a one, and then a two, and then a three, and then a four, and then a five, and then a six, seven, eight. Oh, I ran out of room, that's horrible. So, no biggie. You can just start over with another sheet of paper. Okay, so I got my roll and cord three. Okay, so my lowest number is going to be zero. My highest number is going to be 10. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Okay, that worked a little bit better. I'm going to draw a line above it. Okay, I'm not really concerned about straight lines. I'm not going to use a ruler, any of that mess. I'm going to just draw wavy lines in between. I like wavy lines. Nobody knows, you know, that, you know, they don't look, <laughs> you can't tell you messed up as bad when you use wavy lines. Okay, so I've got that here. Okay, and now I'm gonna make me a few um, this way. Okay, and here's a hint. If you guys do not want to make this over and over and over again, do you know what you can do? slide this into that um, clear um, sheet protector um, that I was talking about at the home video, um, and it will make your life a lot simpler, okay? You won't have to remake this every time, okay? So, since I messed up this paper, I'm gonna make two little balls out of it, okay? So, I've got my first ball, and I've got my second ball. Okay, and this is how you play Roll and Record 3, okay? You are going to drop, oh, something just fell off the table. You're gonna drop the balls and wherever they land closest to is what you're gonna do, okay? So I got a one plus two. One plus two makes what? Your kids are gonna add those quantities together. So two plus one, so one, two, three. So I'm gonna go to my three and I'm gonna write a three. Um, there's a couple of different, um, strategies that you're working on in this activity. You're working on adding quantities together. Um, you can work on counting on, like if your kid, um, if you wanna do this page, this dice with numbers, um, they can say two and count on without having to count all the dice. So you can work on that, counting on. And you're also working on writing your numbers, okay? So those are the, the skills that we're working on right now. And you're also making a graph, okay? And you're seeing which number wins, 
So essentially, which number has the most, which number has the least, you can ask all kinds of math questions about this chart, okay? So that's how you're gonna play, okay? And then again, like the one it lands close to, so I got five plus five. So I'm gonna say five, and I'm gonna practice my counting on scale. I just talked about five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'm gonna write ten, okay? So I'm gonna keep playing. You play until one of these numbers hits the top, okay? You don't play until the whole board's filled. You only play until one of the numbers hits the top. Okay, my friends from my classroom, you don't fill up the whole thing. You play until one of the numbers hits the top and wins. The number with the most written, that one wins, okay? So we got our paper dice. We've got our roll and record three sheet. Again, I've got this um, in a Word document. If you've got a printer and would like to print it out, make your life a little bit simpler, but you do not have to have a printer. You can make this stuff at home out of paper and markers, okay? Um, a cotton ball might be easier with the dropping of it, um, but doesn't have to be, okay? So here's your paper dice. You're gonna need two of them for the roll and record games. Um, if your child is not here yet and they are not ready to add numbers, message me and I have modified versions of this, okay? That I've, I've got this for every single level you could possibly think of um, for math. So um, please just message us at Kindergarten Ready and this is how you play roll and record three for the homework for today. All right, have an awesome day, bye.